infinite limits and limits at infinity. Okay, so for uh, limits of exponential or logarithmic functions, so there are certain rules that we need to uh, know first before we uh, solve for limits that includes infinity. Okay, so we have these following theorems, theorem number 1 and theorem number 2, okay, for exponential. So let's try to understand first. We don't need to memorize this, we just need to understand, okay, uh, what happens. Okay, so we have, if b is greater than 1, hence, it, remember, b is our base, okay, then the limit of b to the power of x as x approaches positive infinity, is just positive infinity. While on the other hand, if x is approaching negative infinity, the limit of b to the power of x, as x approaches negative infinity, is zero. So let's try to go to the board to understand this explanation or theorem. Let's have some example for first. Okay, so limit of 2 to the power of x as x approaches positive infinity. So let's try to use substitution rule and see what happens. Okay, so this is equal to 2 to the power of positive infinity. Okay, so remember, 2 raised to the power of infinity is just 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2 so on and so forth. So for sure, the answer of this one is positive infinity okay so now you don't need to substitute anymore because we know that as long as x approaches positive infinity and you're given is an exponential function okay we simply answer positive infinity okay so for example what if our given is this limit of uh, 100 uh, x uh, 3 x plus 5 as x approaches positive infinity. Okay, so what do we know about 3x plus 5? So 3x, 3x actually is infinity. And infinity plus 5 is infinity. So 100 to the power of infinity is just positive infinity. Okay, so see, the, the theorem just states what is so obvious. Okay. But what about if it's approaching, the value of x approaching negative infinity? Okay, so again, let's use substitution rule. So 2 to the power of negative infinity. Okay, so what happens if the exponent is in, uh, negative? Okay, so through the uh, loss of exponents, if you can remember your loss of exponents, Okay, uh, having a negative exponent means our function is just the reciprocal positive of the function. Okay, so we have 2 to the power of, so it becomes the uh, positive reciprocal or the opposite sign. So we have 2 to the power of infinity. Okay, and remember, 2 to the power of infinity is just infinity okay so 2 to the power of infinity in our previous example is just infinity and again what's the answer if if a number a constant is divided by infinity okay so the answer is zero okay so why zero it's because you have a number divided by a very 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 large number and if you can remember if a number is divided by a very 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 large number it goes closer and closer to zero okay so for example one divided by ten what is just point one but if you try to divide it to one divided by one billion it's actually zero followed by nine zeros then one okay or i think yeah nine zeros or eight zeros okay so it's getting closer and closer to zero. So if it's divided by infinity, for sure, the answer is zero. That's why our theorem states that if it's x approaching negative infinity, and our given, our base is base b is greater than 1, take note, 2 is greater than 1, 
The answer is just zero. Let's go back to our theorem. So we have uh, understood theorem number one. So as long as our base is greater than one, like one, like for example two, or for example one point five, or for example one hundred, we follow this. However, if it's the opposite, if it's less than one, okay, but take note, it's greater than zero. So, less than one, but greater than zero. Okay, so why are we dealing with this number again? Because our focus in our exponential functions will be in this range, okay? So, it's the opposite, okay? So, limit of b to the power of x as x approaches positive infinity is zero, while limit of b to the power of x as x approaches negative infinity is positive infinity. Okay, so to understand, let's go back to our board. Okay, so we are now in our board. So let's have an example. Okay, so limit of, so for example, our b, remember our b must be less than 1. Okay, but greater than 0 because if it's already less than, becomes negative. So, I just apply the substitution rule. Okay, so limit of, let's say, uh, 1 half. Because 1 half or 0 0.5 is less than 1. Okay, so let's have x here. Okay, as x approaches positive infinity. So what happens if that's the case? So using our substitution rule, we have 1 to the power of, uh, sorry, is 2. 1 to the power of positive infinity. Ah, I can't write properly. Okay, so that's positive infinity. Okay, then next, remember our limit, uh, no, uh, power, uh, loss of exponent, sorry. Loss of exponent. So it's just 1 raised to the power, power of positive infinity over 2 raised to the power of positive infinity. So we just distribute the exponent. Okay, so what is 1 raised to the power of infinity? What is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, so on and so forth? So we are sure that 1 raised to the power of infinity is just 1. Because even if it is multiplied uh, infinitely many times, 1 multiplied by itself is just 1. Okay? But how about 2 to the power of infinity? Okay, so if you can remember, 2 to the power of infinity is just infinity. And again, a constant divided by infinity is 0. Okay? What if we change the scenario? Okay, so instead of Plus, let's have, uh, let's erase this, let's have negative. Instead of positive infinity, let's have negative infinity, okay? Uh, negative infinity. By using our substitution rule, once again, so we will have 1 over 2 raised to the power of, instead of positive, we have negative infinity. And the same. Loss of exponent, we have 1 raised to the power of negative infinity over 2 to the power of negative infinity. Okay, now, uh, you, if you remember, if it's negative exponent, it becomes the reciprocal of it, or there is the positive reciprocal, uh, the, the reciprocal that contains a positive exponent. Okay, so this becomes, so reciprocal, so the 2 here, goes to our numerator and, and the exponent becomes positive while the 1 okay 1 to the power of negative infinity becomes 1 raised to the power of infinity and again we know that 2 to the power of infinity is just infinity in fact this is positive okay uh, over 1 infinity is just 1 so what is infinity divided by 1 so no matter how, what you do Infinity divided by 1 is just positive infinity. And that's explained. Okay, so this explains the theorem number 2. So, uh, if you're confused, you don't need to memorize this. 
you just need to understand what happens when you try to use substitution rule. Again, you can actually use substitution rule when you are dealing with this as long as you understand the process. But if you remember this, so you can answer or evaluate the functions, uh, exponential functions at infinity.